asset management control number five is an interesting one. Probably one that gets glossed over a little too much. But are the resources, all of these types, are they prioritized based on their classification, criticality, and business value to the organization? So are the systems actually categorized according to management's intent, their understanding? Do you have that risk management view that establishes what the criticality is for different types of assets or intellectual property or systems or business, whatever it is? Do you have that within the organization? And then are your resources lined up against those? Does your organization identify what critical information system assets exist? For example, if the system that you're running inside of your uh, you know, on-prem uh, data center or that you have running inside of your cloud, if that's making you $2 million a day in business, you know, perhaps based on the criticality of that revenue stream to your organization, you should be looking at and protecting that system, whatever it is, or the, all the systems that make up that business driver should probably be protecting it more so than one that provides significantly less value. So having an asset uh, a, a criticality alignment right, to your systems based on a set of criteria and an understanding from the business, is it revenue driving? Is it risk driving? Is it loss driving? Whatever the definition is that moves the needle for you to then establish what's critical have you actually lined up and put a value then to your assets? And this isn't necessarily, you know, this one server is a priority one and this server is a priority two. Think about it a little larger, a little more macro than that, okay? Does the suite of systems that make uh, make up this business value, does the suite of systems, right, require a criticality? Okay. If you don't have that many systems and you can actually go down to the server level or even the application or the process level, great. But when you're starting out with this, try to create a macro view of what it is that drives value, produces value, keeps your business being a business. Having this criticality established will help you further on in the rest of the controls in order to determine where you're going to put your protections, where you're going to put your detections, where you're going to put your response efforts, and obviously where you're going to manage the best bang for your buck, the ROI, on your recovery operations.